Number 10. Snap bracelets can be straightened out until rigid and then slapped against the wrist, causing the bracelet to curl into place. These metal bands were the most popular wearable toy fad, as snap bracelets reached ahead around 90s, like many toy fads, they were very popular in schools. Unfortunately, it didn't take much for the more cheaply made versions of the toy, they start causing major problems. They'd slice into children's tender flesh, when the metal band, inevitably wore through its covering. Some schools banned the bracelets. The knockoff versions were investigated nationwide, and recalled in droves. Droves. Number 9. When arranged into designs, and then sprayed with water, Aquadots magically locked these colorfully arranged designs into place. The bad news was that, kiddos could also suffer, respiratory depression, be rendered comatose, or suffer seizures from the severely toxic chemical, used to make them. Over 4 million units were recalled, when it was determined that magical beads weren't worth all the comas. One kid was even hospitalized for five days, days. Number 8. Often referred to, as the self-placering Tarzan toy, this Disney action figure, was supposed to have a, karate chop action, but it really looked like, Tarzan is doing something else. Even worse is a, yell Tarzan makes, when he moves his arm, up and down. This is easily one of the biggest fails in toy history. Number 7. The Snack Time Kids doll, involved a motorized mouth mechanism, that allowed the doll to eat plastic foods. The most charming aspect, of these terrifying eating machines was that, they were made without any, on-off switch. In at least one instance, this led to a girl virtually being scalped, all along the backside of her head. Mattel may not have identified, any obvious hazard in their tests, but thankfully, that didn't stop them from, pulling the dolls from store shelves. Unfortunately, Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kids dolls are still available, in your nightmares, nightmares. Number 6. The Kite 2 was 3 meters and 10 feet wide, allowed a boat pulled rider, to yank a cord, in order to glide into the air. Unfortunately, once riders were airborne they were given little control over the flying tube. Admittedly, a parasail mixed with an inner tube, sounds pretty amazing. But unfortunately, with only stirrups and hand grips to keep you from falling, fly to the height of a three-story building, probably wasn't the best idea. Kids weren't the only ones, impacted by this incredibly dangerous toy. At least the recall came more or less voluntarily. The company responsible claimed that, there was no way to determine the actual cause of accidents, but that they would recall the tubes, out of an abundance, of caution, caution. Number 5. In the late 90s, Spin Master made a toy rocket, that could explode. Just like the real dangers of space travel. The splash-off water rocket used water pressure, from a hose to build up energy, until kiddos and hobbyists, could stomp on the launcher, and send the rockets flying. Sadly, at least 37 cases were reported, of the rocket exploding from the pressure, or otherwise flying off, in unpredictable directions, causing lacerations to the hands and face, face. Number 4. Babies love water. They love to splash in it, toddle through it, drink it, and let it loose right in their pants. So for parents intend, on setting their babies adrift, the Aqualeisure Baby Boat, was an adorable, 
concept. Too bad, the cheaply made inflatable boats, tended to tear rather easily, causing dozens of babies to plunge right through. Aqualeisure was ultimately fined $650,000 for knowing about the problem for six years, but hiding behind the classic that no babies have actually drowned yet justification. Number 3. While there's something, a little grim about children playing with toy, forensic investigation kits, meant to mimic the collection of evidence, at a murder scene. CSI fingerprint examination kits, allow kids to snap on the latex gloves, and collect incriminating play evidence, most notably by dusting for fingerprints. Unfortunately, the fingerprint dust that came with the kit, also contained a real-life occupational hazard, one of the deadliest forms of asbestos. In fact, the fingerprint powder was found to contain up to 7% asbestos, the variety of which has been proven to be capable of causing lung cancer later in life from only a single exposure. Osher. Number 2. You can still buy lawn darts or jarts today, but only the redesigned safer versions with plastic tips are sold in stores. The original design for lawn darts featured a heavy metal tip, that could prove to be extremely dangerous, and even deadly. The father of a girl, killed by a lawn dart, when a pierced her skull managed to get them banned completely in the United States, but before the metal tipped lawn darts were banned from being marketed as children's toys, but they were still allowed to be sold to anyone without a license. license. Number 1. Easy Bake Oven, uses a real heating element to actually bake dessert items in 2006. It was voted into the National Toy Hall of Fame. But, the makers of the Easy Bake Oven, didn't have long to celebrate. A year later they were forced to recall, one million of their plastic models when it was discovered, that a design flaw allowed the oven to easily trap, and severely burn children's tiny little fingers. This is obviously a recipe for disaster, especially given that the ovens could reach temperatures of up to 200 degrees. Nearly 250 incidents were reported, including 16 cases of second and third degree burns. One unlucky five-year-old girl was even forced to undergo a partial finger amputation. Ishan. Number 2. 